We are here today gathered inside the world's premier automotive exhibition called Driving America, which is surrounding us right now. We're here to unveil another extraordinary automotive innovation from a group of individuals intent on changing the status quo and making a difference. And I'm referring to our good friend, Oliver Kuttner and his team at Edison 2. This groundbreaking concept car is really a perfect fit for Henry Ford Museum. And in Driving America, it's a perfect example of how innovation can emerge from the lessons of the past. And that's exactly why our institution exists. This opens up the possibility of a whole new type of car, many new ideas, many that we've never thought of, in a much more responsible, sustainable way to the future. It's absolutely perfect to have this vehicle, which is a next generation car, very much an idea of the future, uh, debuted right here. And uh, this is a car that does draw inspiration from the past, you know, in its name alone, Edison, that is the name right out of the past. And then the way that it's available, to, or that it's able to sort of stop and rethink the way cars are designed. You really learn a lot of a lot from history and to me it's not just about history of a car but everything is in a social context. I love the Henry Ford, it's simply beautiful but I hope that it will be a long-term relationship. I find it a great place and I intend to spend the rest of my life on innovating in cars which is what I love and it being about efficiency which affects the future of our planet, sustainability, and a better life for my children and other people. I intend to, if the Henry Ford wants it, to be an exhibit of history in the making, because I am very convinced that we are making history as we speak.